Hello everyone, I'm Luke. Today, I'd like to share a paper about the applicability domain in QSA modeling and how it relates to machine learning. This video is an introduction to the paper. The authors have full credibility to their work. If you're interested to this topic, please read their original paper linked in the description. The paper describes a systematic way to generalize the applicability domain under the context of QSA. QSA stands for Quantitative Structure Activity Relationship. QSA models are classification models used in chemical and biological science. The features consist of chemical properties or theoretical molecular descriptors. The goal is to predict the biological activity of the chemical. The clinical trial of a new drug could be very expensive. It would be good to virtually screening out the components that are unlikely to work and predict the model of actions of a drug. The role of an applicability domain is to define the boundary of this machine learning model to provide more reliable and accurate predictions. The author break down the AD into three components. Applicability. Given an input sample, can I apply the model to make a prediction? If I train the model with a data set which contain low molecular weight compounds exclusively, I should not trust any prediction from the model when the predictor is a high molecular compound. Reliability. Is the prediction reliable enough for my use case? For example, in a k-nearest neighbor model, low reliability means the average distance from the sample to its neighbor is high. Decidability. Can I make a clear decision based on the prediction? What's the distribution of the label of the nearest neighbors? Let's take a look on an oversimplified example. I have a data set which contains different types of car images. I train a neural network to predict what type of the car is. The input data is clean, and the accuracy of my model is really good on the test set. What if I pass an image of a trolley into this model? I got a double-decker bus. The trolley and the double-decker bus have similar features, but the trolley is simply not applicable to the model. If the input within the scope of my model and the features are clean and clear, then the test is easy. If the information is poor, then I don't know if the test is easy or not. The input is valid, but the prediction is unreliable. What if the information is rich, but the test itself is challenging? Then the prediction has low decidability. In this paper, the author experiment on a k-nearest neighbor model to predict the toxicological mutagenicity endpoints. Such framework should suit for not only chemical molecular, but also image, test, sound in general. I hope you learned something. Thank you.